Oh, you didn't like that? You like the beat? You like the beat? That's cool. No. You just tired? Why why are you practicing new sound effects on our show? Because I'm trying to brighten up the show. We've been gone two weeks. <laughs> no, you've been gone two weeks. My heart lives here. My heart lives on this fucking show. I am this show. This show is me. I am this show. You can't tell me otherwise. Let me tell you something, son of a bitch. You don't pay a goddamn bill here, so you don't live nowhere even close to here. Get the show started. We ain't going nowhere. I, I am. I'm, we got you for 30 minutes, and you know exactly who it is. Right 30, minutes is a, 30 minutes is basically the long. For most of you bitches, that would be the longest experience of your life. It's I mean, the longest minutes. podcast you've ever been involved with. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. Oh, yeah. Our money was also fresh, and I'm here to bless you with the fact that 30 minutes is 10 <laughs> times longer than the strongest man you ever let in between your tender vittles. We're not ca- we're not carrying kettles from the New Jersey Nets. This is also fresh. The host with no name we have returned after two week hiatus. They hate us because they ain't us. That's how, simply how it is. Uh, I'm going to go old school and say, miss me, miss me. Now you got to kiss me, Bitch, and, I'm back. Uh, and you know what? I got your dollar on ba- Patreon, you fucking bitch. I'm looking at the camera right now. And yes, if you didn't get a video last time, it's because you only donated a dollar. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to call us up and apologize, hit us up 503-776-0167. And if you're lucky, if you're tender, if you're nice, if you're polite, maybe we'll kick you a video tomorrow night. If you're if you're not on Tinder, it's only me, my bitches in real life. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a quite a little like transition you did there. You know the hands the hands the hands are becoming registered weapons again. What what does this mean? Did you start karate? No, no, no. No, I just started super soaking in my spare room. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, don't call it a comeback. Well, I, I was going to call it a comeback because... I wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this have to do with the shirt that you're wearing right now? If you, if you, I'm if just starting to put at, two and two together. If you're looking at the show, you can see something that is amazing. I have a show that says DJ Oh So Fresh Ain't Dead. I used ain't because ain't nobody loved me better. <laughs> like Shaka Khan was saying. And, it, and it's a headstone in a graveyard. I thought it was just like a Halloween t-shirt. I, I, I have a tombstone that says... DJ oh so fresh ain't dead because I I I was contacted a few weeks ago by about, aliens. No, uh, uh, Cabana boy. I don't think he's an alien. <laughs> they they would have sent his ass back. I, 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 I don't know if we can say government names, but I think Evan, I think I think Evan <laughs> Cabana Evan is boy a, is his government name. <laughs> Evan is Evan is he's a legal resident of the, this country and, and this planet. That we know of. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's Greek or something. I don't allegedly. Know. A- allegedly. Well, he contacted me. He said, hey, I'm having an event. You know, because, you know, Cabana Boy, he's a he's, he's a big time baller type. I mean, you know, he got, he he he, um, he does a lot. He's, of, he's a promoter. Let's just, let's call him what he is. He's a promoter. He's not a fucking promoter. He's a real estate guy. He promotes properties. I worked for promoters. Promoters are shit. <laughs> Cabana is a stand-up guy. Does he go by Cabana Boy as a realtor? <laughs> I don't know. That wouldn't be good. He's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I'd like to show you this property. Uh, you, you can ask for Cabana Boy when you get here. Man, he must sell a shitload of property to Cougars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cabana Boy? <laughs> Does the Cabana Boy come with the fucking property? <laughs> yeah, so this motherfucker calls me because I, you know, I, I sworn off of this, this, this bullshit they call DJing. Sure. I Man. mean, just bullshit. You pay me a premium amount of money to pay rec- play records you already can listen to on Spotify. <laughs> That's what you pay me to fucking do. It is capitalism at its finest. If you ever want to talk about socialism and fucking fair, don't ever fucking DJ because what you do, you are getting overpaid for. And you know what? I'll collect that overpay because you see these goddamn mics, you see that goddamn MacBook. You, if you're watching the video, you see the cool shit here, DJ can pay for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thoroughly disagree with you on this. For one of for for two reasons, one of them more important than the other. What's that? Because DJing is a lot like kung fu. These hands got fucking skills, son. Not everybody can do the fucking ancient snake. Okay, not everybody can do the sneaky rabbit. Not everybody can fucking DJ. That's reason number one. Everybody can do the worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, if you can do the worm, if you can do the cabbage patch, reason number two. If you can do the Smurf, reason number two. If you can do the backwards, if you can do the Roger Rabbit or the Running Man, <laughs> reason number two is DJing. Much like martial arts, you gotta have attitude. You gotta have the persona. You gotta have the eye of the tiger. Yeah. And anyway, back to you. Sorry, and, and, I, I was just. And, and, and you know why I stopped? Because I didn't feel like the tiger. I was just like, uh-huh. you were like Rocky and Rocky Three, a white dude that was banging a pet shop lady, and you just you'd had enough. You were just banging away. That, that wasn't Rocky Three. He wasn't paying. She wasn't a pet shop lady anymore. What do you mean? That wasn't Rocky Three. That I, was all the way Rocky Three. No, that's Apollo Rocky Creed, One. No, he, he, Apollo he, Creed trains him in Rocky Three because he can't beat Mr. T, and he quits. But she he quits on the beach. She didn't work in the pet shop. After, uh, after because you, she I, fucked I, her I, way out of the pet shop. After you marry a bitch, <laughs> she's no longer a pet shop lady anymore. I just want to get some fucking applause. If you if you go know, and you know what what, what whatever. <laughs> what, whatever your bitch used to do after you marry her, she is she's she, she gets a pardon. Her record is fucking a sponge. I don't care. If the, it, 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 the, bitch, the bitch used to suck dick behind the plaid pantry. As soon as you marry her, her sins are forgiven. It's better than fucking Jesus. She been asking Jesus to fucking forgive her for those nasty sins. Then you marry her because she don't. What does working at a pet shop have to do with sinning? Because that sounds like a lowly job. <laughs> okay. I, I, I feel like I've dated up and down the scale. I ain't never fucked with no bitch that worked in a pet shop. <laughs> you haven't lived, my friend. I, oh, uh, my God. Those are some nasty bitches. I love it. I, but see, my only po- point <laughs> taken. Boy, you, you proved my point right there. My only point was, is you were like, you, you thought you were at your peak, and you were like, you know what? It's just not worth it anymore. I, I think it, I was more like Godfather 3. I thought it was out, <laughs> and they keep pulling me back. It's like that. I mean, you want to relate to, like, you know, you want to relate to hamsters and squirrels and <laughs> shit like that. Turtles, man. Tur- Fucking tur- turtles. turtles right? are, there is no turtles in DJing. You don't know that. There's a dude named Marshmallow that does not DJ. <laughs> Why, 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 why couldn't I DJ anymore? Because I couldn't coexist with another DJ named Marshmallow that wears a fucking mask on his fucking head and kids fucking love. I, I believe, and this is just my personal opinion, I believe they just couldn't fuck with you anymore. You had reached, like, Super Saiyan God level and DJing, I t- I t- and you, just, you were just like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to leave you peasants to try and catch me. And it's not going to happen. You're the Goku of DJ in Portland. Well, he, 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 it's like this. You get so good that people don't even want to listen to you anymore. Like, I mean, you do impressive shit so much that it's just kind of boring. Like, <laughs> it, I mean, really. And it, they're, like, they're like, oh, well, here he goes here, again. Here it's going to be fucking uh, flawless. Here, here, here he goes. Yeah, he's going to mix four songs at one time and make a new <laughs> super fucking mashup live. Yeah, that that... That shit, yeah. Well, that's just what he does, you know? I mean, because, you know, if I was some fucking broke college student sitting by a fucking tree, people would want to fucking listen to him fucking play. But me? Nah. Nah. Invested time, year, energy into fucking doing this. Nah, no way was he you fucking play. I, I mean, I was playing the other night, and motherfuckers didn't want to hear me play, and I'm just like... Well, hang on, hang on. Let me, and I may have missed it due to my, you know... Inept Rocky Three comparison here. Yeah, I mean, what what got you? It, what got you back into it? What lit, what lit the fire of the warrior gods in your soul, as me, Mike Tyson would say? Let me tell you a sad, sad tale, my friend. A sad tale. And if you're on Patreon, donate a dollar because this this is an epic tale <laughs> that is going to be sad. An epic and, tale of sadness. <laughs> an epic tale of sadness. Like uh, 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 that, I, I'm like, intrigued. Like that new Lord of the Rings show. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Cabana Boy. Evan, whatever you want to call you, legal resident. I don't know. I don't know if you fuck around with the fucking cougars or not when you're selling these properties. I don't know, but that's a real suspect ass name <laughs> just to be selling property. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you sell it slabs, if you sell it slabs behind the property, that's fine. <laughs> okay, before we get sued, moving on. I, 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 I just want to. I just want to make sure you moved in. Okay. <laughs> I, hey, hey, help, let me let me come by and help you scoot the couch a little bit to the right. <laughs> anyway, so my dreams 
were about to be fulfilled because you know deep down in my heart I was like I would love to just come and rock it pause I would like to show up <laughs> and play a good show <laughs> and I, I really like Wait, I, hold on hold on you just show up and play a good show I would like to show up someplace and play a good show okay okay just yeah and you know and I really just you know I'm, I'm not that into modern music which nobody sure. really is yeah, let's be yeah, honest yeah. You, you listen to most people in interviews no I fucking hate modern music yeah it, it really does suck this time it does suck in the 80s they told us our music sucked they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about let me, let me let me give you a little caveat to that I'll bet you if we listen to music in the 1920s that shit would be fucking bammer too you know what I'm saying I'll bet you people in the fucking 19-teens were like, yeah, this is the shit. And then they got to the 1920s, they're like, ah, this shit's fucking whack. In your era, this is something you need to know about music. In your era, most of the music fucking sucks. If you think about it, nostalgia will cloud your fucking brain, <laughs> and you'll be like, the 90s were awesome. No, you're talking about 50 songs that came out over 10 years <laughs> that you found to be fucking awesome. Let's just call it. Let's okay, call it real. okay, back on track. So, so, you, so, so, so you have this wet dream. So, so you have I, this wet dream I, that I, you're I, on stage rocking a show. And, and then I get this call, and he's like, hey, you know what? I'm throwing this 90s party for me and all my realtor friends. And I'm like, Cabana Boy. Cabana Boy. Okay. Cabana Boy. And probably I was like, and he goes, this is where the story turns sad. Okay. Because there's some tragedy to my comeback. I mean, because my comeback was something I was looking forward to. <laughs> I bought a new hard drive. <laughs> I practiced. I, I, I hadn't practiced in 10 years. I played, I played in three, but I hadn't practiced in 10. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to be opening for Coolio and Coolio dies. Shut the fuck up. Real shit. Out of the ashes, the phoenix shall rise. When birth comes, death must come first. You killed Coolio. I'm you supposed, to, I'm a supposed bitch. to I mean, you know, I wake up, I, you know, it, I go to sleep early. What was it? Wednesday evening. I wake up Wednesday morning and I got multiple messages that Coolio died. You killed Coolio. I want you, you to know that. No, well, the rebirth of Oh So Fresh took the last no, of was, Coolio's I was gonna, life force. I, I was going to, you know, I was, I was looking forward to this. And you know what? And you know what kind of selfish son of a bitch I am? <laughs> okay. It's a it's a three hour fucking show. Three hours? It's three hours between me and him. I was gonna okay. do I was gonna do two, two, two and a half. Sure. Two, two I was gonna do a high two. Yeah. I'm pissed off that I gotta do the full three. <laughs> <laughs> to this point, I didn't even ask how the motherfucker died. <laughs> and let me let me tell you. <laughs> and let me tell you who we got to replace him. Yes. Uh, Montel Jordan. No. Oh, Steve oh, hey. Harvey. Oh, it's good. Day. Oh man, Barack Obama. Nah, I, <laughs> fuck Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd they get? Tone Loke. Shut the fuck yeah, up! So no, they didn't. Motherfucking Loke. Funky yes, Cole man. Medina. Bang. Oh my god! I will <laughs> fuck you up. Yeah, Andrew. Tone fucking Loke. Uh, does anybody know? Before before I go in on Tone Loke, does anybody know? Is did Coolio cut the last of his braids? Is that what did it in, did him in? You know what? Don't speak on that man like that. <laughs> Come on, you were shitting on him for those braids for fucking years. <laughs> what? All of a sudden, it's not funny now it's that not, he's it's dead. It's not cool. Hold on. What do you mean it's not cool? It's not. Why cool. in the fuck? Okay, all of a sudden, we're all gonna die. Every fucking single one of us, okay? And all of a sudden, shit, we've been making fun of motherfuckers for for over, what, a decade? Maybe two decades? You're going to sit here and fucking tell me that all of a sudden, just because this man passed away in a tragic set of events of probably a lifetime of doing drugs and eating fucking Cheetos, that it's <laughs> not funny that he kept like three braids on the back quarter of his head. And you know what's funny is I performed with Coolio before. Well, I was... I was what understudy DJ for the sure. video show. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> is it? Is it? You know I, I, why is it all of a sudden not funny? Are you still mourning? Is that what's happening? I'll tell you like this: I'd rather play Stevie Wonder's Pastime Paradise than actually play Gangster's Paradise. And if you ever heard, if you ever heard Pastime Paradise, then yeah. you don't know shit about fucking music. <laughs> then you don't. You know have shit. never heard music before <laughs> in your fucking life. But you know, I, I, while I was getting, I was, I was getting up to punching weight. I went to go out to see DJ Wicked play. Okay. And then 
the feeling came. <laughs> pause. <laughs> This no, feeling, no, no, this no, no, no. Don't pause this feeling. I want I want you to explore this feeling. I want you to let it envelop you. So yeah, you're out was, watching DJ Wicked. All of a sudden. I, I, DJ Wicked hadn't come on yet. I'm not, I, 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 first, I, first I saw DJ Wicked's under, 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 understudy. Okay. This motherfucker, they could, he could barely transition records and they were barely the same volume. Hey, there is something to DJing. How about just playing the records at the same volume? I'm not asking you for fucking much. <laughs> And then, then uh, the homie DJ Mafia gets on. DJ Mafia, who I love, who actually gave, who got me my one of my first downtown DJ jobs. He comes on. Okay. And then something comes over me as I'm looking out as he packs the floor. Like, I really need to get up there and kill this the, motherfucker. The fucking monster's I coming really, up. I really need to get up there and kill this motherfucker. Zombie also I fresh really coming to, out of the ground. I really need to push him out the way <laughs> and say, your tactics are fucking obsolete. <laughs> I need to tell you that I am not DJ in three years, and I'm going to make it look like you you were playing on a Fisher Price turntable. You fucking son of a bitch! That's the feeling that came up inside me because you, this you sound like the fucking Vladimir Putin of DJ. And it's like motherfuckers, your tactics are cause, unsuitable because this shit is war. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the world the world is on the brink of fucking war right now. Anyway, I, I gotta cut you off and tell you about this. Have you heard about this new fucking submarine they got going on? Russia allegedly has a it's, fucking it's, submarine. It's, it's called the tsunami it's not, bomb submarine. Have you fucking heard about this? Isn't that what Jared called his shit? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, unfortunately, this fucks all of us, not just the children. Oh. <laughs> no, this is, the, this is the scariest shit I have ever heard. Allegedly, this uh, like tsunami fucking torpedo is a nuclear yield tornado that can cause a tsunami up to four football fields high. That's a big wave. That's a big ass fucking wave with nuclear fucking undertones, dude. So it's like... Washing up nuclear fucking waste on anywhere on earth. And it's unmanned. How fucking scary is that shit? So they just... So you're saying it's like like a remote control car. They could just send yeah. this wherever the fuck they want Yeah. To. Autonomous fucking submarine. Okay, okay so see, 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 now I'm scared. Right? Like, I don't even want to go to the gym anymore. I, I just mean, want to I, eat Cheetos and I'm, fucking I'm live cool. my best I, life. I mean, you... Because you're always cool with everything. I'm actually scared. Well, dude... Let me tell you, I don't give a fuck about, like, that bullshit North Korea pulled. Fucking missiles and all this shit. I don't care about any of that. Okay, first, I'm going to start with this Russian sub. Okay. I mean, because I live close enough to the coastline. Sure. That a four football field high wave might get here. (laughs) Might? No, 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 sir. Because when it comes down to it, let's be honest, everybody's just worried about their own shit. Oh, of course. Absolutely. You know what you should do? You should start building the fucking bunker down in that basement you got. Kick out the cult. Kick out the Oso Fresh cult and no, build a bomb I, I remember shelter. The thing is that they've been working on this thing for 10 years. And, they, and, and from what I saw, Putin was like, hey, you know what? He flashed it on us. Like Putin was, they, he was having a news conference. I think it was like 15. <laughs> and they flashed that these documents leaked. Yeah, now, Putin, Putin is like that motherfucker that you you bump into in line, and he opens up his jacket and shows his gun. <laughs> That's basically what it is. He just opens up his jacket, shows his gun, points at it, and goes, "Yeah, keep standing in line." No, but I know you. I know you're trying to get it. I know you're trying to get in to see the new Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no, the beautiful thing is, is if this thing does exist, we don't have to give a shit. Like, just eat Cheetos, drink wine. Live your best life. We're all fucked anyway, so who cares? See, that's no. This shit is fucking scary. You see, the, here's the it's, it's it's scary enough because if it happens on this side, because I live on the west coast, Ish. and I yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and I'm closer to Russia. <laughs> yeah, but they're they're not gonna give a shit about like they, actually that's probably true. They they are gonna want like a small ish. If they take over America, they are gonna execute motherfuckers from Portland first. No, yes, no, they're not you, taking they're over like, Portland. You, you fucking, I mean, they don't. No, they don't want us pieces of shit to fucking rot, <laughs> rot in the whole barrel. 
I mean, shit, if they don't want it to turn into mutants. I mean, shit. North Korea, they shoot missiles over on this side because <laughs> they are going to fucking take out Portland first because they don't want pieces of shit like us <laughs> screwing the whole rest of the country. <laughs> they don't want us propagating. No, nah. well, dude, who cares? We're going to be fucking turned into like mutant anamorph hybrids, dude. It'll be great. Because I mean, because Kim Jong, whatever his name is. Kim, yeah, Kim John Jojo Hill or whatever the fuck is. See, name I, is. I, I, I try and I've always tried to sympathize because I like going to Korean barbecue, and I don't know <laughs> if Korean barbecue is North Korean or South Korean. <laughs> no, why do you think? Why do you think Kim Kim Jong Un is so pissed off? He does, North Korea doesn't get Korean barbecue. Are you they're ass- yeah, they're assholes. See, if I didn't get if I did not get Korean barbecue, when should I went to last night? Props out to my uncle. <laughs> If I didn't get Korean barbecue, I might be shooting off nuclear weapons too. See, this I mean, they must not get ramen either. They, they, they shot the missile at Japan. This is what we need to consider. Kim Jong-un, Vladimir, if you're fucking listening, think of the food. Don't think of the children. I don't give a shit about them. Think about all the glorious fucking food. This is what we should care about. Nuclear weapons, who gives a fuck? We're all dead anyway. Nobody cares. Consider the food. You obviously don't have Taco Bell in Russia. You obviously don't have fucking mm-hmm. Korean barbecue like you're saying. You don't have all you can eat fucking hometown buffets. You don't you must not have a golden corral or you wouldn't even be considering fucking up this whole world. How could you even think about pointing a missile at a country that has golden corral? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Or PF Changs. For uh, fuck's sake. I don't know about the PF Changs. What? What what the hell's wrong with PF Changs? I could That's just fancy Chinese food. Exactly. And it's not very fancy. <laughs> Why is it not? It's overrated. Do you have to make it? It's overrated. Do you have to make it? I'm very fine when I make my own. I, I, when, when's I, the last I, time? I, I, I've been to fucking Mongolian. Listen. Last time I went to Mongolian, it was so good, I saw two pregnant <laughs> bitches walking in at the same time. <laughs> last time I met Mongolian, two pregnant bitches walk up in the joint, and I'm like, I'm going to sit here and make up a goddamn story of how this happened. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. I just, I just wondered, like, Two, if you two pregnant bitches walking in <laughs> to a Mongolian grill, what are your expectations? <laughs> I mean, like when you're pregnant, you're pregnant. Like I can what, think of one thing. What is your? What, I mean, not the fuck because right, that already fucking worked. <laughs> I mean, the miracle of life. You can fuck a bitch many times. That never fucking happens. But you you two marginal ass bitches got lucky. And now and now you're going to the fucking Mongolian grill. I mean, do they do you challenge each other to see how many plates you can take? <laughs> I bet you they do. I'll bet you that's the whole thing. Is this your entire story? About guess, like two pregnant girls walked into hey, a hey, restaurant. Hey, if you were at home and you need to start a story, start a funny story. You started with Two pregnant bitches walk into a Mongolian grill. I, I, got, I, got, I got a funnier story. What's that? I went to Candlebox last week. Candlelight? They closed that down. No, Candlebox. Candlebox. The band. The fucking, yeah. <laughs> you went to Candlebox. <laughs> yeah. So who opened for Candlebox? Like Matchbox 20? No, I don't know. Some dude. I mean, was. Some dude who wasn't wearing shoes or socks. Was Pearl Jam there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it was like. I mean, did you. It was, was Bush there? <laughs> Nirvana. Fucking Kurt Cobain no, no, made no, an appearance. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not okay. Why? Why is that? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Because there was a tragedy in that one, right? <laughs> so it's not fucking it is, funny. It is a tragedy. And I'm still waiting for him to bring my 12 gauge back. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that joke for years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do you know who Candlebox is? I worked in a record store in the 90s. I know all these shitty groups. (laughs) I'm I'm ready to ask you if they're opening for uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. (laughs) No. Because you know Darius Rucker was probably probably playing the next day. Yeah, no shit. Right now, actually, the next day it was Uncle Cracker. I went um, went to that too. You went to Uncle Cracker? Yeah, fuck yeah. Who's who's opening for Uncle Cracker? Lip (laughs) Biscuit? Miley Cyrus actually. Uh, no, no, Miley, no, Miley Cyrus was too young. She was, she was too young. Now, exactly. Now, now, exactly. If, if you told me Billy Ray opened for Uncle Cracker. <laughs> now that'd be a goddamn show. Yeah, it would. That'd be something to fucking brag about. No, so, Why are you telling me about see a fucking candle box? Because so check That's this like out. saying you found a great <laughs> asshole hair. I, I mean I'm sure it's significant to you, but I don't care. No, here's why. Here's why. So <clears throat> 
<laughs> I'm out in Idaho last week, uh, and uh, where I, <laughs> there's just fouls all around. <laughs> yeah, and this is why he missed the show last week. I was sitting here. Twiddling right. his thumbs. I was sitting here ready to go. And this, his ass hair. and this motherfucker fucks me up so he can go to Idaho and watch fucking Matchbox swim. <laughs> hey, I would fuck off I'll go yeah. see Rob Thomas, our Lord and Savior. Hey. You go fuck yourself. Hey, I mean, who, who opened for him? Everclear? <laughs> yeah, right. No. Father of mine? So, you could have stayed in Portland and seen that bullshit. <laughs> so, I think that motherfucker Everclear lives down the fucking street. He, <laughs> I think he's picking up cans. <laughs> So I run into this fucking guy and it turns out he's the promoter for like these two shows. Like it's not, he's not the promoter for the band. He's the promoter for the event center. Okay. So naturally you can, you can already tell he lost his ass on these gigs, but so I I'm mean, just, cause there must've been <laughs> 30 people there. <laughs> well, like 60. But, <laughs> are, are, are you, you can't count the people that are, you, that are taking tickets, running concessions or security. <laughs> So Touché. we're back Touché. down to twenty. <laughs> so so what? And, and I wish and they, wait, I, wish, I wish they had. I wish the ratio was like that at Astral World. Right. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, Travis. So in light of you saying that, he gave he gave me and my brother and a couple others of us like free tickets. So like. He, he must have been, he was either doing it wrong or he must have been doing okay. But here's where it gets fucking weird. He didn't pay you to stay? No. <laughs> no. No, especially with, with the shit his girl pulled. God damn. Okay. So we're sitting there and he's like, hey. And they have like a little VIP section, you know, to the left of the stage. It's got its own little beer garden and shit. Idaho VIP is like <laughs> rolling in vomit in downtown Portland. That's how that's what high that's how high stat it is. Status is, is to be VIP in Idaho. That's I a mean, rather I, accurate I, depiction. I mean, VIP in Idaho is definitely like being across from across the street from the club smelling like urine in Portland. It's not a very high status. <laughs> so we're sitting there and this guy he, I mean, you know promoters. Like, he's running around doing his shit yeah. at the event. While, while drinking. Yeah, while, while drinking. drinking. And, and, there might, and there's probably some drugs involved. And so he's checking in. You got to test he, that shit before the band gets him. <laughs> right? He's checking in periodically in the beer garden to refill. Yeah. And so we're sitting there. And all of a sudden, like, I, I look over. And him and his girl are getting to, like, a little spat. You know? And I can only imagine it's because he's a promoter and he's running around like he's fucking Jacques Cousteau with his little wannabe blazer on and shit. I'd step back. I don't want to fuck off my free beer. <laughs> right. No. So I did. And so he fucking waddles off and goes to do his thing again. I know. Why, why do promoters? Because I worked in the industry and you did, too. Promoters all look like grown up Chris Farley. Yeah, they, really they pretty do. much do. Every promoter you'll meet will look like a grown up Chris Farley. Exactly. He'll be out there putting a 13 year old on fucking stage, yeah. but look like a fucking grown up Chris Farley. Yeah. And Rest so in peace to Chris Farley. Hey, kids, drugs are recreational. <laughs> Just remember that. Drugs are are used for recreational purposes. If you OD, that means you overdid it. <laughs> That's what it actually stands for, overdid. <laughs> no, so here's where it gets interesting. He saunders off, goes and does his, does his thing, and instead of stifling her anger and frustration he and, said stifling and, and, and pushing it down wow, that's and real. drinking on, drinking it down like an that's adult. That's really condescending. She, tur she Stifle turns yourself. To, she turns to us, complete fucking strangers, and starts going, can you believe him? Oh, my God. Like, blah, blah, blah. And she starts bitching. She's not like a bitch that... She's not like a, a bitch with <laughs> autism from the valley. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she's a, so, she's no, on the high on the spectrum. But listen, it, was, it was from the San, the San the, Bernardino listen Valley. Listen to the story. Listen to what they were fighting about. Mm. He refused... Because he's a promoter, I'd imagine. He refused to delete some lady from his Facebook that she had got into it with at a previous engagement. Really? She's like, she's like, you need to delete her right now. And he was like, no, like, I don't I, no, I'm not, I'm not involved in that. Like, I don't care. This is my name. Like, it has nothing to do with did, you. Did I fuck her? <laughs> did you catch me fucking her? <laughs> now I'm not deleting shit. <laughs> I mean, did you catch me fucking her? Then I got, I don't got shit to fucking delete. <laughs> I mean, hey, 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 she's on my friends and family plan. <laughs> hey, shit. <laughs> I don't know, but all I can tell you until you until she drops off some D unwanted DNA in the form of a baby, 
baby or or a full condom, bitch, she's staying in my fucking phone. Yeah, right. And so for 15 minutes, she's going on with us about this complete strangers. I went through two fucking drinks during this bitch's story. And I'm like, no wonder he fucking, no wonder he's not standing next to you. 15 minutes. That was five times her last, her best sexual experience. <laughs> Shit. That's the most engagement she's had with a man. <laughs> so, without, without having to pick up her bra and run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. so, and the best, the best part about it is like every concerts in Idaho end at 10 PM. So, She's fucking shit can drunk, bitching about Facebook, and it's like 9.50. And we're like, oh, look, it's time to beat the traffic and get the fuck out of here. We got to go. Hold the fuck up. (laughs) Who bitches about Facebook after 10 p.m.? (laughs) (laughs) If you don't know, now you know it's time to go. We got to get the fuck out of here. You can hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the hype podcast. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the hype podcast. Leave us a message. Donate some dollars. We'll talk about what you want. It's time to go. And by what you want is me and Oso oh Fresh. We talk about uh, ourselves, hey, bitch. Hey, you know what? You need to you need to donate, motherfucker. Because this motherfucker t-shirt is really trying to sue the shit out of us. <laughs> you, see, you see how I, you, you like the shirt? I'll make you one of these shirts if you donate. Hey, you know what? And... I'm not taking I won't take you out of my phone <laughs> You might not get deleted from Facebook But you won't be in the phone anymore uh, motherfucker. I, 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 If you need a custom Oh So Fresh t-shirt Hit us up 503-776-0167 leave, leave us a message Tell us about your life We'll make fun of you Give you some advice We'll do it You know We'll just do what we do We might even have you on the show If you're not wearing pants So you see a Matchbox 20 I wonder if they did like covers of Isn't it ironic That you would pay to come see me Don't you think <laughs> I mean, you know, they're old, so they're like, it's lump, it's lump, it's in your breast. <laughs> Let her cry. Let those tears come down like rain. Yeah, that's it. Let her cry. <laughs> because she was, she wanted to hold your hand. Anyway, Hootie and the Blowfish, I kind of fuck with you. But you know it's all about Atlantis more sets. If you were ever at a candle box show or ever planned to go to one, make sure you take a hot podcast sticker and make sure you donate on Patreon. And, you know, like the good old days, fuck your life. Fuck it. We'll do it live.